Hello, my name is Robert from Totalink. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your new T10 wireless mesh system. When you open the box, you will find three T10 units boxed individually. Within each of those boxes, you will find one set of instructions, one ethernet cable, one power adapter, and one T10 unit. Each T10 unit is identical. They each have one gigabit WAN port and two gigabit LAN ports. After you've opened all three units, grab one ethernet cable, one power adapter, and one T10, and place the other two T10s off to the side. The first thing we'll need to do now is disconnect the power cord from your modem and wait about two minutes. If you have an existing router, please remove it at this time. The next thing we'll need to do is grab one of the included ethernet cables and insert it into the yellow WAN port of the T10. This unit will be referred to as your master. You will then insert the other end of that ethernet cable into your modem. Once an ethernet cable is connected between the master's yellow WAN port and your modem, power on your modem and wait for it to fully boot up. When your modem is fully booted, take one of the AC power adapters, plug it in, and insert it into the T10. You will then wait for the status LED to change from solid green to blinking green. When the status LED on the master is blinking green, grab your smartphone or PC and search for wireless networks. You'll need to connect to the wireless network labeled as totalink underscore followed by six random characters which will match the SSID section located underneath each device. All right, now please connect to the 2.4G SSID for a smooth setup process. Once connected to the 2.4G SSID, open a web browser, preferably Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, or Safari. Enter 192.168.0.1 in the address bar, then enter admin, A-D-M-I-N, as the username, as well as the password. Then click login. Then click easy setup in the top right corner. And here I will create my SSID for my 5G. as well as my password for 5G. Use ABCD, ABCD, and then SSID for 2.4G. As well as password, use ABCD, ABCD again. Then click apply. Once, once you click apply, your new wireless settings will be applied. And at this time you will be disconnected from the master's wireless signal. So what you'll need to do is disable your wireless card, wait a few seconds, and then you'll want to re-enable your wireless card. Then you're gonna search for the newly created SSID we, you, can, you or I created in the Easy Setup page. Click Connect, and you'll use the password um, we created in the Easy Setup page. ABCD, ABCD is what I used, and then click next. Once you've successfully connected to the master's new SSID, you can refresh your web browser. You should see that successful connection. At this time, the master is fully configured and we are now ready to sync the two satellites. Now that the master is fully configured, it is time to pair the two satellites. To do this, 
you'll need to power on the two satellites within three feet of the master, power them on, wait about 45 seconds for them to boot up, and wait till their status LED changes from solid green to blinking green, indicating that their system is ready. When all three units are blinking green, press and hold the T button on the master unit only for about three seconds or until the status LED blinks red and orange. During the next two minutes, the master will sync with the satellites. Sync, syncing is complete when the two satellite sat status LEDs are solid green and the master is blinking green. You will know pairing is complete when the status LED on the two satellites are solid green and the master is blinking green, indicating that your mesh network is now complete. You may now unplug and relocate the two satellites anywhere in your home and use the color of the status LED as a signal strength indicator. Green or orange color represents excellent or good signal and red indicates no signal or is not communicating with the master and you'll need to reposition the satellite closer to the master.